Good day everyone, welcome to Phantom Sound. I'm really glad to inform you that there is a membership option is now available for Phantom Sound. There are two levels of membership. The first one is called the Bedroom Producer. It costs just one dollar and it is for those who want to thank me for sharing my fresh sounds with you and in addition you will get a nice little badge next to your name in the comment section of my videos. There will be five types of badges for the new members, one, two, 6 and 12 month supporters. And the second membership option available is called the Dubstep Guru. In addition to the previous features, you will get an access to all of my secret tutorials on mixing, mastering and other stuff to make your sound more professional, including a tutorial on the mixing and mastering of the demo that you will hear right now. This membership level is $5 a month. I think this is quite a fair price for sharing my more than 10 years experience of music production and I'm really excited to invite you to hit a join button somewhere below to share my experience with you guys. Sorry guys for such a long intro, there really was a lot of new information that I wanted to share with you and let's get to business. In this video we're going to take a look at classic yet really cool sounding dinosaur type bass. I really enjoy it so much and it sounds like this. It's fucking This FL Studio project, all of the serum presets and all of the samples from it are available on my Patreon page. The link is in the description of this video. There are tons of interesting content. Also, I've just started a Black Friday sale on my Cyber Jedi serum preset pack. It is now available with a nice discount. So also make sure to check my shop. There is a really must have preset pack. Most of the sounds from this drop are made using this preset pack. So go grab it, you won't regret it. And here's the sound solo. Okay, let's start from scratch. And the first oscillator is going to be the ooh ya ooh. Exactly. Let's set the octave to minus two. And move the level down. Let's drag the first LFO to it. And I'm going to use a pre-saved envelope, which is looking like this. Just copy-paste this one. I will enable the triggering and set the wavetable position at around 35. Let's go ahead and enable a second oscillator. Set it to the monster 4. Set the octave to minus 1. Move the level down, select the sync wrap mode and set it at 3.9. And of course we are going to FM from B, set this knob at 60. Let's switch to the second LFO, turn on the triggering and set the rate to a full bar. Drag it to the wavetable position of the first oscillator. Set it at around 40. And also drag it to the second oscillator. Set it at around 80 or 85. Okay, this one's really easy. We've done on this tab. Let's switch to the fixes. But before, let's set the master volume at around minus 3 decibel. And we are going to be using the distortion. Set it at around 85. Next, we are going to enable the filter and set it to the high notch 12. Set the cutoff at 20 Hz and automate it using the first LFO. Set it at 54. By the way, my sound currently has some post-processing plugins on it, so clean 
it sounds like this. We will get back to it in a minute. Next, let's set the resonance at 54. And a drive at 27. Move the frequency up. And drag the LFO to it. Right, next let's enable the EQ, set it to the peak, and automate the first frequency. Set it at around 60, and the automation at around 50. Set the Q at 12 o'clock, and again at 9 or 10 decibel. Drag the first LFO to the second frequency, set a frequency knob at around 2900 and the automation at minus 55. Set a Q at 12 o'clock as well and again at 5 decibel. Now we are going to enable the compressor and set it to the multiband compression. Set again at 16 decibel. The heights at 65. Meets at 70. And completely get rid of the lows. Okay, we've done on the serum side. Let's take a look at the post-processing of this sound. I've set this sound to mono and compressed it using the OTT compressor. Set the downwards compression at 10% and reduced the high frequency compression, some meets and completely removed the low frequency compression. Then I've get rid of some mod using the EQ. and added a maximizer with this kind of settings. The IRC4 with the transient mode and really fast character to not ruin the transient of the sound. And enabled a soft clipping set to 30% with the mid frequency saturation. Once again in the mix it sounds like this. You are very welcome to join my Discord server. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment and like this video if you enjoyed this tutorial. Have a very wonderful day and see you later. Bye!